Ladies and gentlemen, let's go drive in a building now called ASC. I'm sorry, I'm still getting used to it. I'm sorry. Gentlemen, your mic, your mic is muted. Your mic is muted. Your mic is muted. Ah, we can hear you now. All right, can you hear Corey? What's up, man? Yes, we can. Fellas, how are we doing? Thank it worked. You. We shared AirPods. <laughs> I know teams teams is tricky so. teams is tricky and most people hate it I don't I have no idea why a year ago we were like there's zoom there's there's teams there's skype let's just go with the one that nobody else uses and pay for a year of that yeah. I don't that's what we did I don't know why but uh fellas, I think thank, part of the problem is my my computer too, so. <laughs> yeah what's up man all good dude this is awesome thank you guys for stopping by um first I want to say I'm so happy that you guys are are doing the with the original lineups all going on and uh, things are look amazing as far as so what the so what festival looked like everyone was just going ham during the set. Can you can you talk about that performance? Because it seems like that was the one that kind of kick started everyone's well, like, this is really happening. You know what I mean? Yeah, it all started because I bought this lucky cat on Amazon named Harry Styles that does like the arm wave, you know? And once that cat was purchased and we took it to Texas on an airplane and it survived the flight, we knew then that like it was going to be looking good, you know? That that was the key, was the, the special cat right there. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, I was we, did, we definitely but... did go ham at the show. It was, a, it was a good time. The only thing we were missing for So What was Brian. Yeah. But, uh, Brian couldn't make it, man. He had the old, the old Rona, but the old vid, you know, <laughs> it, I mean, it, it but happens, it, it but, uh, awesome. regardless, you know, I, I wish he could have been there, but either way oh we had a God. great, Look we at had my... a great time. And, and that wasn't, was that wasn't the first one, right? That wasn't the first show with, with the OG lineup. No, Swan the, Fest. Yeah. The no, Swan the Fest first one. one was in Sacramento. Yeah. Swan Fest. Yeah. Hell yeah. Dude. Oh, this was the first one I think a month before that. So and and you guys are at yeah, the man, whiskey was... on on Friday. I'll be there. I'm excited. Day after tomorrow. Oh, awesome, man! I, I, I can't got wait. You, bro. I got got you on. I the didn't GM. know. I didn't know you'll be there. Cool. Yeah, I'll definitely be there. I only live about about an hour and a half from there, but uh, it's absolutely worth the drive. Oh, I'm, sweet, I'm, man. I'm my wife's sweet. coming too. We're really stoked. Corey, awesome. I've I've interviewed almost everyone in the band. Some of them, some of you guys <laughs> more than once, but I've never had you on the show. So I appreciate you stopping by. It wouldn't dude, be right man. unless we talked about avant garde, dude. Okay. We gotta oh, we gotta man. bring this oh, up. Yeah. So before I ask you a question yeah. about that, what what was it like going initially from always being a drummer who did vocals, but then getting away from the drums? Like was that that's that kind of weird at first? It was. It was a little weird at first. I mean, I've always had a passion for drumming and singing you know um i've been i've been singing a lot more recently but uh yeah i just wanted we just want to try something new you know uh we wanted we both had a passion for music we didn't want to just let it go you know we, we still wanted that that music flowing through our blood so we wanted to create something at least to put out just just for fun just for a hobby you know yeah um let me go back a little bit me and Corey hadn't talked in a few years from when i left the band that's right and i ran into him at a chili's in elk grove <laughs> and so i hit him up and i was like come through let's jam and between both of us he was obviously the singer i can't sing anything you know and i was like let's just put out a little record for fun we recorded it in my living room and it rekindled our friendship so it was a beautiful thing that's awesome and then this is the record that came out of it yeah can we can we yeah, yeah, can we jam a song and if if so what would you last, prefer we play? Do the we should have listened. That's a good one. We should. They're all good, but that's a good one. Okay. It's all, they're all kind of they're, they're all, all kind of different, you know. And it wasn't it wasn't really yeah it wasn't really uh, like one genre. It's yeah, like it some really dancey, some just kind yeah. of all over the place. But again, it was mostly just to put something just for fun and have fun. But yeah, yeah, that's a good that's a good one. That's awesome. We found out recently that oh, your no. sister is married to Tino. Would she you, is? Is is is, is that correct? I didn't know that. What? Is that is that correct? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he's my bro-in-law, dude. He's, would he's would you friend. ever he's would you ever be down to like co-host a day and bring Tino on the show? If he would be down, I would love to. Yeah, give me a hell yeah! I'll, I'll, I'll hell yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Hell yeah! Yeah. 
Uh, regarding you mean David Valentino, Artiaga. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Okay. There you go. The correct, the correct term. Yes. There you go. What when when you guys go back and jam these these songs again live since it's been a, a couple of sets now what what is your favorite one to perform? Sure. I think yeah I think we all might have a different opinion of that. Uh, <laughs> me personally, I I really like playing Hey Nightmare. Um, I think according to Columbus is probably my fa- my personal favorite song on the album. Yeah. But performing wise, I I really like playing Hey Nightmare. That one's kind of higher energy and you know i'm doing i'm doing some more stuff than the other song so if i recall I said nightmare last time i was on this podcast. yeah i was gonna say if yeah. i recall even brian and and uh, jordan have, have both oh. said the same thing like th- that was their favorite okay. song so we didn't uh okay. of all of that them that one's so. just so like that song just has like an anime outro vibe to it you know it's, it's just so it's, epic and the ending's so heavy i love it it's, uh, it's fun to play it's just a, yeah it's a yeah. fun song to to play you know it's, on the on the yeah, upcoming cool. on I mean, the, they're all fun, but on the uh, upcoming run that you guys are doing, uh, is there a particular date that that you've got circled that you are looking? You're more excited about this, maybe this uh, show at in New York or this show somewhere else. Is there a particular like <laughs> it's been years since we played here? I can't wait to go back there. Anything like that? Honestly, we're we're it's thankful. Them, yeah, we're thankful yeah. and happy to go back to any of the places it's been it's been for me about eight years since i've been on stage re- minus these last two shows uh, so and you know seeing friends from all over the country it's it's i'm thankful and happy for all of them um i would say if 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 i had to pick one it would probably be the virginia show that i'm most looking forward to only because slipknot's headlining you know oh hell uh, yeah but there's so many bands. yeah i mean how, yeah. how can you not look forward to playing with Slipknot. Yeah. Uh, Michaela, do you... Uh, no, I am too. They're like one of my favorite bands. I'm just playing. Yeah. Michaela, do you have a question or two for, for the gentleman? Yeah, I was going to ask you guys, like, because you said it's been eight years since you've been on stage, like, are you guys... Is it different? Obviously, it's different now than it was then, but, like, you guys still seem to like be excited and have the energy and passion for it the same way still so oh, totally um it is different you know we're all obviously older you know <laughs> we're we're in our 30s now we most of us have full-time jobs um families families yeah. you know, kids wives whatever um <laughs> we've, we've gone to the next chapter so going back it's it's really cool just to relive that passion again and that that feeling of you know connecting with the crowd and just being just that feeling of performing on stage there's there's not really words that can describe it so i mean yeah we still we still go hard i mean we're you're way more yes. sore though when you're 34 yeah, yeah. Like yes. 24. you definitely get you definitely get bang over i'm like wait i drink yeah. it all and played a show yes. and i'm done for two days now yeah I'm like, this is crazy <laughs> yeah you should be get up and go you know i mean but... we still we still <laughs> let all of our energy out on stage and how oh, yeah but it's yeah, I mean, honestly, it, to me personally, it's it's actually kind of more rewarding now that I'm older. You know, when I, I was it, when I was touring eight years of my life every day, it was kind of it just kind of became repetitive. Don't get me wrong, I was I was happy and thankful. Right. But, but it's a grind when you're young doing it yeah, every day. When you, when you don't younger, even know what exactly. city you're in half the time. You, you know? don't appreciate exactly. it as much when you're younger. Now that we're older, sure. we we see what we had and. It's just, it's a, it's a really cool feeling, man. I think that's the best way to put it too. Like you said, like you don't appreciate it when you're younger as much as you do when you're older. Yeah. And like you guys are yeah. like doing it again now. That's really you fucking awesome. You don't know what you got till it's gone, you know? Oh yeah, yeah it's for real. sure. <laughs> yeah. I have one more kind of serious question and then we'll get into some fun stuff. But uh, Corey, during the, the JAG era of the band, what record were you the most proud of? Um, drum wise or just all together as a I guess album? I guess two separate questions okay um, drum wise I think probably Adelphia Rise I was I was wow. more ma- no no drum wise I'm talking okay. drum wise talk I, you know wow um, <laughs> but wires I mean wires is what really took us off you know wires is what really 
got us going. So I would, I think wires is probably our, our best that, that we did just for what, what we were going for and stuff. Yeah. Besides she watched the sky, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Wires. yeah. Yeah. And, and we know about Nick doing the, the recordings right now. I think there was some, some, some shots of you guys maybe working on some, uh, some new material. What? Oh, you saw those? Is that, is, is there anything we're allowed to know about, about that, about that? jams dude you know we just got to make some cool shit yeah we're, we're just working on it. we're really taking our time with putting something new out you know rather than just Dropping throwing something. something out that's often, you know not very good or whatever we want to really take our time and, and yeah, make it make it the best it could be and and relate back to those times when she watched the sky came out you know kind of put put that album in with who we are now and how we evolved now and um you know so we just we really want to take our time and really just drop just drop we're excited something we're else. excited yeah. take your time so take your hard. time so when it's we're doing it. excellent excellent okay well, let's have well, we've let, done fucking rules man yeah let's have some fun i'm clearly there's weed all around me indica or sativa nice. or hybrid what what is your preference very nice Old Joe Dog doesn't smoke much weed yeah, anymore. Weed, he used man. to. Um, I can't say that I do, but I might. Um, I when I did smoke. You don't either, but if you did, it yeah, would be. I don't either, but if I did, yeah. I would say uh, indica dominant hybrid. Ooh. Gotcha. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Hybrid indica dominant. I'm not. I'm not a too much of a sativa <clears throat> fan, but uh, I do an edible like yeah. thousand milligrams and like meditate and like thousand learn. Learn hockey, hockey. <laughs> yeah, that's probably it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Corey, uh, let's let's do some trivia. If you get it right, I'll spin the wheel. Um, if even if you don't get it right, I'll still spin the wheel. But what do you know the most about regarding film or TV? Any any t like specific uh, Netflix show or uh, Harry the Potter, South Park, Simpsons, anything in in, in TV <laughs> film? Yeah, that's a terrible question for me. I don't, I don't. Ask me that question. Yeah. Let's switch questions. Okay, so Corey would be yeah. your 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 phone a friend if you if you don't know, Joey. So what do you, you what go. do you there know you the go. most about in, in the same same question? Right, Anything so in TV or film. You've seen this movie more than any other movie. You've seen this show more than any other show. So if I ask um, you something about that, you won't get it wrong. Oh mm. man. Let's see. <laughs> let's go let's just go Stranger Things for fun since it's current. Stranger Things heard. Give me a second to uh would you guys be okay if I run upstairs real quick? My dogs are going crazy. Yeah, go for it. He's go for it. Beat his dog. Let, no, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm just. just I'm just gonna. I'll be. I'll be back in less than a minute. So I'll. Right. I'll. Uh, I'll throw some Stranger Things on while we're waiting. Uh, Joy, I want to know what you think about this band called Kill Streak that we had on the other day. Dude, love it. Heavy as fuck. Yeah, I like not... anything heavy, man. Yes. And yeah. I can just like go like this too the whole time, like man, I got it, I and like move. <laughs> That's it. That looks bad. Move my hand like I'm playing it. it yeah. Or into it. Like I'm playing it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so you said you said Stranger Things. So I'm assuming you've you you're caught up. You've seen everything regarding season four. And has it has it been yeah, a while Brian, like, since you've seen off. season one? No, no, it hasn't. Okay, well then that's gonna. Then I'm just gonna ask you this question, and you're probably gonna get it. But in chapter one. <laughs> What is the name of the young boy who vanishes in Hawkins, Indiana? In the first season? In the first season. Are we talking about... It says... It specifically in says in chapter one. In chapter... So that's like first... Okay, but is chapter one first season? I believe so. I should know this because I'm a huge Stranger Things fan, right? Who's the boy that vanishes? Um, Will Byers, dude. Damn it! That is correct! Yeah, hell yeah! I thought I was thinking I was thinking more like I was thinking more like fringe, like is there another one they talk about or something, you know? No, oh, that is correct. Well Byers. You got it correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. did he you got see it. what happened with him and Doja Cat? Yes, I did. Uh in real life. That, that is crazy. So it landed on free reaction video that doesn't make any sense right now, but let's pretend it landed on painful tattoo. Which is the one right before that? What can you guys talk butthole. about the worst, Dude. the worst Dude. tattoo that you you've ever gotten? Butthole. You have a butthole tattoo. I don't know if he can. 
No, what? that was like a, a quarter inch away. Maybe not butthole. Damn. He's got his butt. I got what is it of? My butt cheeks and my whole back cheeks. tattooed. Um, it's this god that we created called the Multi God, and it's a Jesus, Satan, Vishnu kind of Brahma thing. And it has six arms, and it's on top of a UFO, a lotus flower, above a flat earth. But then these two Mayan gods are underneath it, holding it, one's from the future, one's from the past. And they're both, like, drinking the water. This can't be and real. the energy lines from the god oh, it's real. Are, he's, he's pretty out there. are in my butt and my back. Yeah. It's what, was, what was the bet, what was the bet you lost to, to have, this, have this done? I, no, it, uh, it, honestly, it looks me and, super sick. Me and my buddy Josh Palmer, shout out Josh Palmer from uh, Old Nine Tattoo, we read uh, religious material for a few years to come up with this, and we finally got it. And it's the best thing that's ever been made in tattoo history. It's, it's a cool one. It is yeah. cool. It's odd, but, you know, odd. well, to, to well, the to, normal to human the, being. To the norm. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. But I'll this send you a picture this, of this all, normal, so. I'll send This you all makes video. perfect sense to me. But that so was I guess I'm weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Michaela. Corey, what's what's your most painful tattoo? Uh, I don't know if you can beat stomach. that one though, but let's that see. Was... Yeah. Stomach, I don't mind. It's not as crazy. It's it's just about like peace and love and it's like right where his pubes spreading are. Spreading positive mental, you know, like right where the pubes are, like right, <laughs> right above my my junk. His I got you know region. from there to my neck. That was all. That was all bad. It was not fun. Pubes what is it of pubes. though? What is it yeah. of? What is it of? Just show them real quick. Stand right. I'll Don't, show you. I won't get down too far down. Though. No dick neck. Oh, yeah, I say pain, painful spots They could right see it bigger, probably. Yeah, that's yeah. intense. It was, uh, it's a earth. I have a picture of the earth with a... Flat earth. Of course. It's not flat. It well, it been, could be. It could be flat. It could be. It's just a... It's not a three-dimensional. It's just like a... Yeah. yeah. Um, with a peace sign in the middle, you know, it's like, <laughs> I love under the sun. Uh, I have... Hands holding, making like a heart, um, positive mental attitude. Nice, just, just, just oh, positivity. You know, I have a, PM, I have a PMA too right there, dude. Ooh. There we yeah. go. Shout out Alice Anderson. But pain, very painful. Yes. Stomach, stomach, especially being like 130 pounds. You know, my chest is like, you can hear it when I knock on. It's yeah, it was painful. But I mean, what tattoos aren't painful? But that was yeah, it was probably the the worst spot. For me. What what, what is oh, top of the foot was shitty too. Oh, for me, but for me, bad. is probably my most painful is probably like right in this little space yeah. right there. Yeah. I don't know what that oh, is. Like right in your breastplate. That that spot sucks. Oh, it's a weird. I have a, I have like a, a ritual of how a woman becomes a werewolf, and it's all right there too. <laughs> yeah. Hell so yeah. I've done it. Yeah. Uh, oh, let's yeah. not go into more weird shit for me. Yeah. Next question. We're getting Corey, uh, regarding uh, only a Skylar Drive, not any other side project, or I don't, I don't know if you've filled in for for other bands sometimes as just being a drummer for a set or two. I imagine so. But uh, what is the worst show you ever played in your whole life? Everything went wrong at this show. I, dude, I couldn't, I couldn't tell There's you so the exact show because there's been problem, you know. We in 2009 we were touring like almost 300 days of the year. Wait, I got. So I can. I can answer this. I have. A, yeah, I have a couple incidences. I don't. I. I can't recall the exact show with the worst one was, but one that I do remember. The stitches was. Uh, oh, the stitches was bad. I yeah. forgot about that. Um, I was going to talk about Germany. We played uh, Frankfurt, Germany, and Joey and Brian. Oktoberfest was going down during the time we were playing. And Nick. Yeah. Oh yeah. So Brian, Nick, and Joey went to Oktoberfest. Which... It was in Stuttgart, Germany. Oh, actually. Stuttgart. Yeah. You got no, to. You're, you're in Germany. Fest. It's October. It's, it's beers all around. Let's go. Cronin. Yeah. yeah. So they went to Oktoberfest. I at the time I didn't. You didn't go to that. Well, I didn't drink before I played or did anything before I played drums. I you know. Yeah. So I I just stayed back. But anyway, they went to Oktoberfest. Came back trashed. Of course. Mm. What do you expect? Um, we went on stage and the first song, Brian, shout out Brian White, shout out Brian. Yeah. Love no, him. Love yeah. him though. No, no, not talking shit. It, it, they were drunk, you know? So he got on stage yeah. and he fell backwards, like just too fucked. He was going too <laughs> hard and he had a couple too many beers. He fell backwards into my drum kit and he fell into my cymbal, my cymbal stand. So the cymbal fell 
and like hit me right on my nose. Like right in half. Like right I still us. I still have the scar today across my nose right oh, here. Oh wow. I was just just gushing blood and I, I just had to keep playing and the you know, universe act like nothing wanted happened. it to happen though. Um that I mean that was like a That's point. metal. Some of the, the worst some of the worst ones for me though was my, my in ear situations. So like Thing in my ears click track if you don't know what in ears are it's like a, a metronome playing so he only hears a metronome so we can keep on time and it was it only out. me it was only yeah. me that had the in ears so the band followed me mm -hmm. you know so if i'm not on time no one's gonna be on and there's time. other right. stuff playing with it in the pa so if it all gets off it's a mess if, if yeah. it's like that's like worst second, case scenario it was it's, yeah and that's happened like literally my drumstick like catch my in ear and rip it out of my ear and <laughs> flying across stage and someone crunched it on yeah all types of stuff man all yeah. types of stuff um, one more for you one more for you was when we were on tour with uh we came as romans this didn't happen during our set but be uh the night before our show in dallas texas me and dave we're all drinking and stuff on our rv we had an rv at the time and uh awesome. when you open the door to the rv there's an automatic step that like pops out when the door opens it's on the sensor you know um i'm sure half of it had to do with me being you very too high. very under the influence i opened the door yeah. stepped in it come out i stepped down face planted on the concrete you did? Yeah. oh dude my my eyebrow took my whole weight of my body from like three Ouch. Uh, yeah uh i had to get 11 stitches in my eyebrow yeah it was that was pretty that was pretty bad damn dude yeah. i don't know what happened yeah, you guys took me to the ER. I don't remember. And I, I thought said, that was Germany. When I, I said, no, <laughs> don't take me to the ER. I don't have health insurance. Was that insurance. also Europe? I can't afford that. No, no that was in Dallas. I don't remember. Dallas, Texas. I was in a bad place for a long time. Anyway, there's been there's been many, you know. Um, but all good times. Oh, back. all great times. All great times. The, the worst ones are the electronics malfunctioning. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't know. do anything about that. If yeah, one wire gets messed up the concept the of whole, breathing is over the whole shit's yeah. messed up you know so that's, the worst that's my thing. that's my experience i got i hear it i hear it <laughs> so so yeah, i've every right. everyone in the band has has told me a crazy story about this one particular tour instance double decker bus dance gavin dance wild oh, times geez. Can you can you did give I me? You, I don't know if we're allowed to talk about all that. I, I'm pretty I sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure you did. I don't remember, but everyone has said that that was probably one of the wildest parting instances of your touring uh, life so far. Yeah, so I would say, okay, Alisana and Dance Kevin Dance. Those are the two bands that we like pretty much tour the world with. Yeah, both absolute insane experiences crazy crazy amazing stuff. dudes though oh just, love but, them to death and that's why the all times are so good you know love them all to death what but... happened on the double decker bus remember that it was so tiny up there <laughs> give me give me a remember? little a little something i remember uh, like something we can say legally right yeah. i have a lot of shit that like yeah, yeah. Legal yeah. Stuff that we, shouldn't we don't want to be in any trouble now maybe yeah. like the maybe the poop under the drivers uh oh that was me though don't tell okay. that story <laughs> no tell it tell it tell it so, I can give you more detail because I don't know. Like Czech Republic or something. Czech Republic. There's Czech Republic. Yeah. And uh, Jeffrey Star's Jeffrey dump, Star dump was truck was there. Yeah. There was a Jeffrey dump truck Star with Broken Side. With Broken Side, and they were touring in a dump in truck. In a dump truck. Wait, what? Yeah. What? So before they got there, though, I had stomach <laughs> problems. <laughs> and I I didn't know what to do, and I had to poo so bad, and the venue wasn't open, and you can't poo in the buses. Yeah, you're parked so outside. So I grabbed you this, like, popcorn bag. You know the long popcorn <laughs> bags, right? Yeah. And, dude, I put that shit over my little fucking tight asshole so hard. Over, like, over your Vinju tattoo. Over your Vinju tattoo. It wasn't there yet. It wasn't there yet. And I was like, I don't know what to do. I was sweating, and I panicked, and outside there was, like, people walking around, so no one was awake yet, and I'm in the middle of the bus, dude. And I diarrhea shit fit <laughs> this fucking bag, right? Which, dude, it happened. Oh, it happened. no. Everyone's got diarrhea. Yeah, right. I mean, it happened. Try it in a bus with 18 people, and you can't go outside, and you can't poo in the toilet. So I do it, and, and, we're in a and different country I don't know what to do, know so them. I open up the fucking, I like light a cig, dude, you know, and I fucking walk out, and I throw it under the bus, and our bus driver, Mickey's kind of 
kind of like you know real hard ass i didn't know that he slept under the bus dude in a fucking not okay so hold on not under not like in under a bay. the bus okay. there's a door with a bed. under the bus there's a there's a compartment where right you, right where right you put it's your like suitcases and stuff right he had a bed there so one of the one of the compartments was his like bed and tv thing bed, yeah, his sleeping yeah. area you know Anyway, and we're inside eating some like sand, like some bagels and lox and drinking beers like four hours later. And he walks in and he was all, who the fuck shit under my bed, you know, <laughs> and no one says anything. And I just put my head down and walk out dude, because I was like, I can't let anyone take the fall for that, you know. Yeah, was... And he made me go get the bag, dude, and walk it like 50 yards down the driveway. Mm-hmm. To the he was driving like, 11 <laughs> hours straight. Yeah. So he was trying to sleep and then. This is not the story I was anticipating, but it's <laughs> oh, dude, just so, as there's good. There's so many. There's so many stories. That's the thing. It's just it you know, happens sometimes. It's almost like a daily routine. There was something. This was this was, was this was when Kurt was in Dance Gavin Dance, right? Not Johnny. Well, we did both. No, we did Emerosa with Johnny. We yeah, we toured with all those guys. Yeah, we toured with even Tilly when he was in. Uh, what are they called? Tides uh, of Man. Tides of Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Dance Go Dance with, um, with Kurt and Johnny, we toured a Love lot. Them all. Love oh, them all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Shout out every Great dance, have a dance singer. I have a, I have yeah. a quick story for you. Uh, quick Amsterdam. One. Oh, no. With Alisana. Oh, or Chile. Jesus. Which one? Both crazy. Um, Amsterdam with Alisana. Me and, me and Jeremy, the drummer for Alisana, went out after the show to walk walk the streets of Amsterdam, you know, you're there, of course, yeah. you, you know. Um, walk the old red light. Went to yep. the first bar. It's on my bucket list, never done it. Saw. Dude, yeah, good times. I, uh, yeah. Went to the first bar we saw, they had, uh, they had one euro shots of Jaeger, which is a dollar, a euro is a dollar, right? Or it's probably yeah. more converted, but anyway, it was a, a dollar euro shots of, of Jaeger, and the, the way they came was in like a test tube. They had like this box of holes and the test tubes were the shots. Like a little beaker, you know, it was like so, 12 of them on a platter. So yeah. we paid 15 bucks each and we got 30 shots of Jaeger delivered to our table. It's a good amount. Mind you, just two of us. It's like we, enough. It's enough. Dude, we killed them within 15 minutes maybe and couldn't tell you what happened after that. No idea. But good times. But you ended up safe, times. safely back on the bus at some point. S- surprisingly excellent I think excellent. only one member excellent. ever got arrested yeah. only one of us ever got arrested and it wasn't even a big deal oh yeah yeah what were the, for like just twice. drunk in public or or piss, uh, pissing well, weed on top of a building on tour though not on tour but I I got arrested at home for a drunk drunk in public only because I went to a crab feed with um Dustin Lewis shout out Dustin Lewis and Jill and <laughs> We made our sauce and we went to his church, right, for a crab feed. And the pastor was pouring like a uh, gin in tonics, and he didn't know what to do, so he poured like a whole cup full of gin, right, mm-hmm. on some ice and put a little like lime, like a shot of tonic in it. And I was like, oh, whatever, boy. let's go. And I blacked out at the church. And when we went to this bar, um, I my girlfriend that I'm Heather. And she was like, you're sleeping in the car. And I was like, no, I'm not. And I got out and I slammed her car door and all her airbags went off and all her windows blew out of her car, dude, in front of this fucking bar. Oh, my God. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, Justin, what do I do? You know, I was like, what's going on? And anyway, the cops were like right there when it happened. And they're like, is this guy bothering you? And she was all, yes, he is. And I don't know him. And I was like, oh, Jesus. I'm like down the street from my house, too, to keep in mind. I was like, let me walk home. I get out of jail that night, dude. And it's just a. It was a misunderstanding. It was the the car actually had a recall on it, so it wasn't my fault. I didn't slam the doors that hard, and that and the cop that arrested me drove me home though. And when I woke up in the morning, me and Dustin had a newspaper article, and we were the winners of the homemade crab dip for the crab feed, bro. So, so you so you still, you still won? I did an interview with the newspaper. Bro. Okay. okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> Gangster, bro. Lo- local man in jail still wins crab crab boil. Crab yeah. yeah, dude. Probably, yeah. It's, all, it's all worth it at the end of the day, dude. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm surprised there's only one person that went to jail, honestly. We've, yeah. We all, yeah we, we had a We've all deserved 
oh, we just we no, just didn't we get caught. You know, we, we not. when you guys not bad things, not harming people or nothing. Just you know, we all party a little that, hard. That the law wouldn't. I love it. Okay. I love it. When yeah, when you yeah. guys when you guys were younger younger tykes, yay high tykes, way down here. We're talking like early yeah. high school. What is what is the most influential album to you personally for both of you guys? Bathroom Walls, Lipstick Secrets by Five Minute Ride. For Five sure. Minute Ride yeah. was definitely one of them. That was uh, Kurt Travis, his first band in high his school. His first band before he before he blew up and stuff and Dance Give and Dance and all the other bands he's in. Was Static Lullaby. A static Lullaby was record. one of mine. Thrice, um, Artist in the Ambulance. Huge. Fuck Taking me, Back Sunday. That. Thursday. Back, yeah, dude. Thursday. There's a lot. And of... I honestly got into Thursday when um, War All the Time came out. I got the first TBS record and the, and the second Thursday record the same day in my sophomore year in high school. And I was like, Mom, I'm dropping out of high school. I got to fucking write music. I was like, this is it, <laughs> I was, dude. I was this 14. I think I was 14 years old living at my, obviously, living at my parents' house in uh, a city called Elk Grove in in Northern California, and uh, there was fastest a little, growing city in California. It's a big one. Yeah. There's a little coffee shop called Sweet Bean Cafe, and oh, uh, sweet. I went there and saw Five Minute Ride, and that from that moment it was like I knew I was like, dude, and it was a tiny, like not even a stage, just a little coffee shop. But can we play a Five Minute Ride just dude, to show everybody? Yeah, I think November so. November in my soul. I think they only have um, no the no second record. You got to type oh, yeah. in November in my soul. That yeah. was the song that really like, and you can hear like the influence that it had on dude. Me and five and five minute ride, out. hell yeah! Five minute ride. That was Kurt's like first yeah, dude. Band. He, I don't know how old, he had to been like seventeen, eighteen. Kurt was like it was Kurt, Jeez. Alex, Cool, and wait, it was Kurt, Alex, um, the blonde guitar player. His aim name was Komen Yeha. Um, uh, yeah. John uh, yeah. Daly. <laughs> Daly. Their drummer though. But it's super nice, dude. Great drummer. He uh, donated everything he owned to charity one day. He started a new band. Wow. Kind of left. Bless uh, his heart. But their guitar player, um, Jason Jensen, was actually in Dance Gavin Dance for a while, too. So the one of the guys playing guitar was in Dance Gavin for like oh, geez. two, yeah, two years or yeah. whatever. You know? And he became yeah. like a nurse or something. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. they're all just smart. A doctor or something. Yeah, sure. probably a doctor. <laughs> yeah. Corey, uh, anyway. when I when I told a couple of people that you were going to be on the show, one of the one of the odd questions that somebody wanted me to ask uh, is: back sure. in the day, you always used to wear a a uh, a backpack, backpack. When, when you'd play. Yeah. What was in the backpack? That that's that's the that's the mysterious question. What? I know. Dude, what, I honestly, know what was in it. honestly, nothing. It was just a. It's it was a phone a, charger. It was a part of me. It was like a. Um. Oh, excuse me. Um. Yeah. Hair straightener, you know. I was a, <laughs> I was like half woman back then. Phone charger. Uh, yeah, hair straightener, phone charger. Nothing, nothing important. Just, just like just deodorant, stuff. like stuff in yeah. a pinch. You could like do your hair deodorant. Like stuff like you would keep in your in your purse or fanny pack or whatever. Wallet, you know, just whatever, nothing. Yeah. It was just, it was just like a part of me, and I just. I just rocked it. Was with probably it was probably empty. Half it's cool. Yeah. It kind of it kind of yeah. was like part of your image half. for a while. So it, it I, I dig it. I dig it. And it was kind of I kind of like the mysterious. Did you like, Did you notice that on the last Skylar Drive or ASD? No one sorry, noticed. Photo no one noticed. did. Someone did because I saw. The I was first wearing a backpack <laughs> in the first picture we in the posted. First ASD in the promo, in the original shoot. promo thing, the where the where the commentary is going. The second one. The second one. The black and white one outside. the black and yeah, the black and white one. Yeah, if you could pull that up, it's on the Facebook. You can see corns. Yeah, I was on. I was wearing the good old <laughs> the good old pack, dude. Here, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up over here real quick. Uh, yeah. Michaela, at, do you have another question for the fellas? I need to stall for a second to pull this up. Favorite band currently? Mm, bring the horizon, no question. Mm -hmm. Nice. Fucking Mid rules, rules, dude. Yeah. Lorna Shore, great band. Sick. I see the both stuff great, I like, both great I'm bands. Like, Oh no! Actually, I'm wrong. Hardy. Oh, at the Hardy, moment, wrong. okay. At the moment, Hardy is my favorite band. So would I, I like all types of music. Like not all types, but I like either like dog shit, crazy heavy, like yes. Bone Shore, yes. or or like super chill, like Circus Survive stuff. We say mm -hmm. dog shit heavy is in like how heavy it is, like not just, <laughs> just like right, right. Right. just no, 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 gross no, no. brutality, no, no, no. brutality. Exactly. Yeah, like, it, like I didn't mean dog shit. As like when the sad. song comes on no, at work and you want to like murder your boss, just like, and like, like you just want to. Wow, wow, that went 
Do you turn? I meant I heard you mention Circa. Do Turna? Do Turna is probably like my top three favorite albums ever made. I'm I am a huge fan of Circa Survive. Um, Harvard. Yeah, Harvard. Yeah. R.I.P. Harvard. I miss them. I miss them. Corey loved the Hire. The Hire was. Oh, the Hire was one of my favorite bands. Um, dude, like I said, I like either crazy heavy shit, super chill shit, or now I'm getting into like country rock, hardy. Is if is it? It's not either one of these videos, party. right? No, it's on our. It's a it's a photo. It's on like Instagram or Facebook. It's a photo. Oh, it's a photo. Okay. Yeah. That oh one yeah. Right there. There it is. The third one. There's my pack. There's Zoom the there. There's the pack. <laughs> I got the little ready to go. Backy on. Hell yeah. I got the little backpack on. Yeah. Yeah. You so can see the I'm I'm hoping Friday. Uh, last time we had Brian on, he told me that he was the fastest beer chugger in all the land, and he he to- he, to- oh, he yeah. totally beat me, and I was don't, really pissed don't off bet about him. it. Don't, so I'm, do don't not bet, bet him. him. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy him a beer on Friday, and I'm gonna challenge him right then and there at the bar, and I'm gonna lose, but it's all it's all in fun. Dude, I'm letting he, you know right now he will win, but yeah, I'm please do you, buy him a beer. I'm telling you right now, he slammed a pint one time in 0. 0.3 seconds. We timed it. We're all dude, dink dink. It was done. It's like he done. doesn't even he doesn't swallow. He just like opens did, his throat. It's like he did a that's it. He done. did a four. No. He did a forty of something heavy one time, like, like IPA um, or like some no, dark like, shit, um, like some bitter shit, like King Cobra or something. Oh god! In under a second, dude. <laughs> what? The whole forty? Yeah. The whole forty, it was like one one thousand done. Old, old B town doesn't fuck around, dude. Yeah, B-town that's crazy. Concrete, dude. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't. He's I I would not put money against him. Don't don't bet him. He's he's gonna win. Yeah, but uh, fellas, I'll leave you with yeah. just like one or two final questions. I appreciate you doing this okay. today. What is no problem, uh man. what is uh a bad habit that Jordan has that uh we don't know about? Just a bad habit. <laughs> Let's talk a little. Let's talk a little uh, real quick. You're so fucking funny. Bro. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I don't, I smoking don't. cigarettes. Yeah, there you go. He smokes cigs. And I think Fair he eats enough. a lot of candy, but he's also diabetic, so he has to eat candy sometimes to level yeah, his blood I, sugar. I don't want to get into that. Another bad habit he has is being one of like the most underrated, funny people I've ever met in my life. That dude. If you look back at like the last 15, 20 years, no, it's hilarious though because it's really insulting. So like him being funny, that dude could like cut you to the core on insults, but he never meant it. But he was like the guy who knew what to say to you, you know? He's a sweet guy. He would would do it and laugh and we would laugh together and I'd be like, you're such a dick. We just laugh, you know? And He's a sweet guy. um, He's got a good Always had a good heart, man. Yeah, and he's, he but totally if good he'd good. stopped smoking cigs and eating so much damn candy, he'd probably, yeah. he'd probably be a little better. Good call. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> fi- <laughs> final question, and I'm pretty sure I've asked you this before, Joey, but uh, you can re-answer if you'd like. Uh, what is okay. a what is a piece of advice that you guys were gifted at some time in your career, maybe early on, that changed everything? Like, it was an eye opener piece of advice, or a terrible mistake you made very early on in your career that you don't want any starting up band to make? Um, I can be a little like vague with it. I would say that. Um, Someone's best starting. piece of advice for me when I was in Thailand and a monk came up to me and grabbed my head. Oh, you no, know, it's a band, it's a band, not yeah. as like a human. Oh, is it like a band member? Oh, right. Well, that, no, you could that, that I mean, oh. you could say whatever you want. A monk came up to me in Thailand. I swear to God, it was Honestly, really there was like a hundred people around and he came up to me and put his hand on my head and said, You're cold water. Still don't know what that meant, but. It was like good advice, it though. was like it was good advice, and I I just I would say went with it. Dennis Lee from Alice Anna told me, um, the hotter they are, dude, and they're gonna get hot when they're around you, the, girls, the crazier they are. And he was like, so be careful, dude. He's like, you'll be tempted. There's actually like, a there's actually a yeah. diagram about that. The, uh, yeah, it's a J curve of like hot. To yeah, crazy. the hot to yeah. crazy scale, the and, unicorn. I would say for bands, dude. Like, if we made any mistakes, I mean. The unicorns for a reason, time. but I would say just like, like really look into who works for you and make sure they're working for you and working for your money, you know. And if they're not, then don't be afraid to tell them because that's the biggest you, piece. You only have one life and one shot at this music shit. That's the biggest piece of advice. It's a very short window where you can take off, you know. And don't be afraid to like 
um, trust in yourself and be like, we could do this and without this person and we could get someone else or whatever, but I have, trust your gut. If you want to fire someone, fucking fire them. I have one, I have one honest piece of advice that I, I, we all learn from in our band and I'm not going to talk names, but yeah. family members and band, it does it, like getting, getting friends and family involved with band just ends bad it's bad if you know? they're techs or tour managers or handling things and you it's, gotta fire them it's like we, we know what situation. you're we know what you're referring to so yeah like just, so that was that was the that was the reason that, that, we hired, that was the I, biggest thing that we hired a good friend of ours one time to do merch dude and we had to fire him like day yeah. two because he got too drunk and he was our best friend like childhood best friend and the headlining band was like yo if you don't cut this guy we're cutting your whole band you guys are opening and it's a it it's a an, huge step for us. It's an old saying. Yeah. Getting getting friends and family involved with business is just bad, bad business. Yeah. And that I I learned that is the truth. You know? Yes, yeah. I mean, minus the band member, obviously we were friends, but getting getting family or friends help from like in, your yeah. to do merge bad that's, idea. That's not a that's not it never ends well. Yeah. It never ends well. We we learned the really, 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 really hard lesson from that. Yeah. So well, gentlemen, We're all I, good now, babe. yeah, yeah, everything is gold and everything is glorious. I'm excited for Friday. I'm excited for Friday yeah. to rock out with you guys, yeah. man. It's gonna be a, gonna be a kick-ass time at the Whiskey A Go Go yeah. in Los yeah, Angeles, will. California. Yeah. You guys are about to do a kick-ass tour run for sure. We're excited about all the tracks that hopefully we'll see the light of day. I'm guessing Definitely. maybe sometime in 2023. Definitely, but yeah. um, yeah, who knows? Yeah, but yeah. uh. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Stay safe on the yeah. road, and um, I'm excited, man. I can't, I can't wait for Friday awesome, for sure. Man. And thank you, Michaela. Well, thank you, thank yeah, you both well. for yeah. Thank, thank you, you guys for, for hanging out. Time and yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, sorry, I was never um, interviewed before. I'm like terrible with computers and phones and stuff. I had it's, to do this whole thing. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm in, I'm like stuck in a an other like generation. I, it's yeah. weird. Uh, anyway, that's the only reason why. It's not that I never wanted to, of course. I had a, yeah. I had a great time, and thank you both. I appreciate it. It's all good. No worries. Thank you, Joey. Yeah, thank you, Corey. Awesome. ASD yeah. original. Let's go. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. For real. Yeah, Stay safe on the road. For real. Can't wait for Friday. Yeah. Take it easy. Cool. Cheers. Thank you.